Referee Dave Marino in charge of this matchup. And we are officially underway. Trevino and Morado. Ooh, this match is going to be good, I can tell. They're coming in with some energy. Trevino in the all black. Morado with the purple sleeves. Now, I was saying in our last matchup, it was refreshing to see a battle for takedowns. And as soon as I say that, the one competitor pulls guard, but it looks like these ladies are going for it, though. Yeah, heavy collar ties. Trevino working in the shot in the in front headlock position. Looks like she was thinking about sitting through with that one. But Morado has her nice and tight in this front headlock position. Trying to drag her down. Trevino back up to her feet. Trevino now. Looked like she was working an underhook there for a moment. Jockeying for position, these two ladies. Like a tie clinch there for a second. They're just about a little bit over two minutes into this seven minute matchup. And Trevino in on the single leg. Can't she finish it, Scott? Oh. Murata with the, with the Kimura grip. We'll see if she can do something with it. Trevino wants to pass that leg if she can. That'll neutralize that Kimura. Murata was still with that grip, being insistent on it. It seems she can make something happen with it. She's not letting go, uh -oh. not letting Trevino off the hook just yet. Morado now forcing Trevino to have to address that. Trevino opts to step over the head. Most significant submission attempt of this matchup so far. That could score big if this goes to a decision. She needs to stand, get her posture back. Three minutes to go. Trevino needs to answer back. Yeah, that Kimura. I don't, I don't think she really had it, but that's definitely enough to get a, to, weigh it, to sway a decision. Morado now. Was working that wrist control. Looked like she had a decent angle there for a moment, but Trevino squared right back up. And as I say that, Morado right there, once again, working the angle. Maybe setting up an arm bar attempt. Going under the leg now. Trevino making it difficult for her.
And it can be really hard to pass the guard without your posture. You can hear Trevino's corner yelling at her. He's Two slut. minutes. Two minutes to go. But the reference to that is to stabilize your opponent in one place so you can get your posture back and try to work to break the guard open for those of you at home that are watching. Time is not on the side of Stephanie Trevino. She's down one sub attempt to Susanna Morado as we count down the seconds. Trevino's corner calling for her to shake right now to get those knee through, knees through to possibly break the guard open of Morado. Probably the best thing that Trevino could do right now in short time left, if she could get that guard open. Uh, cheer him on, folks. Possibly Only go for a quick footlock attempt to, to even up Who's the submission attempt. Good choice for Morado to go for the Kimura attempt because that's going to force Trevino to eat up some more clock time by spacing out. Double wrist control now for Morado. Actually, once again, she's going for that. Kimura, if she can get that, make an adjustment to her lock. Uh-oh, she's feeding for it. 20 seconds. Right now, Trevino desperately needs that guard to pop open any way Final that she can make it happen. Seconds. That's time! Stephanie Trevino and Susanna Morado go the distance here tonight on Elevate Submission Series. Like we were saying earlier, Scott, that Kimura attempt could be enough to get Morado the nod. We shall see. And your winner by decision, Susanna! Congratulations to Susana Morado with decision victory here tonight over Stephanie Trevino by one submission attempt.